So we're going to have a look at doing math with Python. Now this is a book that will show you how to visualize data, it will show you how to model data, but it starts from, um, it's really sort of from the basics. Uh, and I would say it's aimed at people in high school or doing A-levels. It's not aimed at undergraduate scientists that want to do computational physics or something like that. Um, but it's a good start, it's a good place to start if that's sort of where you want to end up one day. So let's have a look. Um, brief contents, uh, working with numbers, visualizing data with graphs, des describing data with statistics, algebra and symbolic math with SymPy, um, and uh, what else have we got? Playing with sets and probability, uh, and solving calculus problems. Let's have a look in a little bit more detail in the uh, contents here. So as you can see, you've got working with numbers, and it talks about complex numbers uh, as well in the first chapter. So it sort of shows what Python can do um, with numbers. And then this chapter is very useful on visualizing, visualizing data with graphs, and I think that's where we introduce matplotlib. Uh, and then describing data with statistics, uh, and then algebra and symbolic maths there. Uh, playing with sets and probability and uh, solving a calculus problem. So let's have a quick look at, where shall we go? Let's go to chapter three, describing data with statistics. So what does it look at? So it's, you know, to start with, we have this very familiar layout that we have with the No Starch Press books, where it takes you through um, it explains how you're going to do something, it introduces the code, and then it dissects the code here with these points. So when we're calculating the mean here, um, we have a variable for the sum and the length, and then how that's how we calculate the mean with the by dividing those two. Uh, and and here in the text, we talk through how that's, um, you know, why we do that. Uh, so... That's a sort of familiar layout for anyone that uh, has used no starch books before. And, you know, again, it builds up in comp uh, complexity, but, you know, it, it is starting from the basics. But I think this is very useful. If you have no experience in doing any sort of mathematical data handling with Python, um, then this would be a nice, gentle introduction. Um, and as you can see on the stats side, so here we have, we've, by this stage, we've already done the, um, the visualization chapter so that you know, you know how to create things like that. Uh, and it takes you all the way through then on handling data, reading data from text files or CSV files. Um, so it does cover really, you know, for, a, for an introductory text, I would say it covers quite a lot, um, a lot of material. Uh, and then at the back here, I just wanted to show you uh, chapter seven, which is the one on calculus, which I think is quite useful, just to show you, you know, where, where the book goes, sort of how far the book goes. So I'd say this, this chapter on calculus is probably the most advanced chapter in the book. Um, and let's see here. So we're modeling sort of simple equations that use calculus, building up some of the functions um, to do that to using some of the inbuilt functions, but also um, this is with um, SymPy, uh, but also in places building up our own functions, as you can see there. And again, you know, we introduce, they introduce a concept, they describe what they're going to do, they write the code, and then they explain what the code does line by line. Um, and you know, we've even got in here things like gradient ascent and gradient descent. So, you know, it's the sort of getting you on your way to do, you know, perhaps if you were interested in moving on to machine learning, but you didn't have any bases in um, sort of, you didn't know the basics of, of maths and, and, and how to, to model and um, visualize, you know, simple, more simple um equations and data uh, you know this would be a very good place to start so that's the book it's explore uh, it's doing math with python and that's it there explore math with code um, using python 3 that um, 
is all I have to say on that one. If you uh, have enjoyed this, if it has been useful to you, then please do subscribe or like the video on the YouTube channel. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.